Seven years ago, there were many things that I wouldn't have ever thought or dreamt of doing and being in this school has really exposed me to try out new things such as leading assembly, leading teams, presenting in front of university lecturers. My teachers are creative and fun. Over the years, my English writing and grammar skills have improved. I'm so glad to have teachers who are passionate and encouraging. This school has also really helped me academically because they taught me a lesson on competing myself and not with others and this has really helped motivate me and achieve far more than I thought possible. Active learning seems a bit cliche in terms that it's being applied in all the learning processes in school but I think that it's very important for the student themselves to participate and put forth the effort in their active learning so that they can actually learn more for it. One example of active learning is classroom discussion. My teachers tend to share personal stories about themselves and they often tend to be very funny but they are also related to a lesson. Another example would be show and tell. For instance, one of my friends bought five Rubik's cubes and he managed to solve them all. That inspired me so much that I wanted to solve my own cube. Here at Westlake, there are many opportunities to join many student bodies such as the prefectorial board, student council, the editorial team and many more activities as well. These many leadership positions help me learn many attributes such as perseverance, patience and they also help me learn how to delegate tasks and also be accountable for the decisions that were made. Being student council president has helped me fully utilize my talent and potential. It has helped me develop my critical thinking, time management and determination by providing an environment which allows me to overcome many challenges. My teachers, advisors and my fellow peers have given me many critical feedback to improve and shape the way that I lead. Westlake holds co-curriculum activities after school. This allows students to explore their passion and find new talents. I decided to take up photography. Teachers have given me the opportunity to take photos at school events such as sports day. This has helped me improve and sharpen my photography skills. Wind Orchestra Westlake, wow, is always there to perform. Not only that, our school has made it possible for our orchestra to collaborate with other schools in some concerts. We even take part in competitions every year. This has gave me a chance to really express my skills and talents. I've been able to hone my musical skills because WIS has enabled me to be more disciplined. And I think any serious musician would appreciate this. I joined Gable Club, which is similar to the Toastmasters Internationals. Basically, in Gable Club, you will learn many different techniques in speaking and you can learn many other techniques in presentation. Being part of the school team has been a wholesome experience for me. Firstly, it helped me gain confidence and it helped me handle pressure in competitive situations. Voice has also taught me to critical think really fast. I would have to read the game and control the game as a defender. It taught me to manage my time. It taught me to not procrastinate because I would have to juggle between different roles such as student council, boarding council. So I had to really think really fast and it also helped me in my GP written examinations. Uh, my house parents, Auntie Feng Shan and Uncle Yiben, got me and my housemates not only to focus on academics but also made sure we went for sports and stayed fit. I think that was what kept me sharp both academically and physically and it was also what uh, kept my spirits up going through to the IGCSE exams. My Chinese summer school program in Fukuoka was an unforgettable adventure. In Chinese, we had many wholesome and educational activities. We had visitors from the United Nations telling us about their role in helping poor communities. And I would like to thank Wesley for giving me this opportunity to go to Fukuoka. I've been to new places and had wonderful experiences with my team. I'm certainly thankful for the opportunity to perform with WOW members. In Westlake, there are very good seniors and supportive teachers that support me when I'm giving my speeches and also help me to prepare in many other things. Dear viewers, good day to you. My name is Ravi, your training and education consultant. I help organizations to form successful collaboration between industry and academia world. Today, I have the privilege to interview Mr. Klaas and Ms. Michelle Chu from Westlake International School in Kampar, Pera, in relation to IGC programs offered at the school. Welcome, Klaas and Michelle. Thank you. Now, first, I would like to ask uh, these few questions to Mr. Klaas. Uh, what is the unique about a school like Westlake International School? who can deliver the results of 66% of A stars and A at IGCSE level 
with the affordable fee structure that you have? Uh, thank you for the question. Yeah, I think there are quite a few reasons why we are able to achieve those results. Yeah, I think one of the reasons is our location. Yeah, we are in a quiet town with the beautiful surroundings, which are very conducive for learning. Uh, furthermore, we are a boarding school, so many students uh, stay at the school and don't lose any time traveling to school or traveling to visit their friends. Uh, besides that, we have uh, very qualified teachers uh, who are very motivated to try the newest uh, type of uh, uh, teaching and learning, yeah, uh, including lots of technology. Um, furthermore, we have uh, a good structure uh, for learning. Yeah, we have programs where students, uh, when they get towards their um, examinations, they will focus more on uh, study skills, yeah, and we uh, yeah, have more assessments for them. Yeah. And besides that, we also have uh, good extracurricular programs and uh, supercurricular programs where students join uh, out of school uh, seminars uh, and, and exchange programs. So we do have students that uh, have been with us for several years and that are now getting uh, offers to study at some very renowned universities uh, around the world. All right, thank you. Now, that's an uh, excellent thing which I would like to uh, understand it to be this. Uh, we all know that uh, grades don't really tell the whole story. So how, how do I know my child has given his or her best effort in order to uh, improve uh, learning? Yeah. One of the things we do for our students is uh, to give them an online uh, CAT-4 test, yeah, that stands for Cognitive Abilities Test, which tests uh, four different aspects of their learning, uh, verbal, nonverbal, uh, quantitative, uh, num that's numbers, and uh, spatial. And uh, this test will also give a prediction of what is an expected score for a, stu uh, for a student. Yeah? So if we have students that are, that are getting good results, yeah, maybe they get A's and B's, but our CAT4 result tells them that they should be able to get an A star, then we can, uh, yeah, we can uh, take actions to uh, help them better. Yeah, maybe they need some more uh, study skills development. Maybe they need to be uh, helped with their uh, confidence. Yeah, maybe they don't, uh, are not aware yet how good they can be. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, class. Uh, just moving to uh, Michelle. Michelle, I, I would like mm -hmm. to ask one very important que question, which probably all the parents are you know, thinking of asking. Uh, this is an exam-related question. So with now the current uncertainty ahead, uh, there are concerns if the October-November exams this year will eventually take place. So how is Westlake International School preparing ahead for this? Okay, thanks, Mr. Ravi. Uh, indeed, this is a common question. So uh, at the moment, Cambridge actually, uh, they have confirmed that they will move on with the exam. But uh, of course, with, um, at the same time, we acknowledge that this COVID-19 pandemic is uh, still very uncertain and uh, there might be a likely, likelihood uh, end of this year that we might go through what we are going through this June 2020, which uh, most likely um, with predicted grades option. So... Uh, in predicted grades option, usually schools are asked to provide school-based assessments um, such as uh, some classwork that we have done with students and uh, some evidence that students have uh, done with the teachers and we have to submit that to Cambridge. So in Westlake, um, we have been providing continuous assessments all year round, um, whether it's physically when students are at school or at this uh, period of time, we continue doing that remotely online with the student. So what we are doing with them are class works, holiday homeworks, even projects and assignments, uh, as well as full-time papers. And um, as mentioned by Mr. Class earlier, we also have external tests, which is called GL CAT4 assessment. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something on top that we are adding in as the evidence and Cambridge acknowledge the external test, including GL CAT4, to be included in for consideration of the predicted grades. So it seems like um, CAT4 results has uh, strongly be, uh, been correlated with 
their um, results that means their predicted grades with how the student achieve in the end in their national tests as well as other examinations so we actually have an added platform here to support our predicted grades so we we are quite ready uh, quite ready with all this in preparation to uh, november 2020 should the exams be cancelled okay thank you to both of you for enlightening our viewers with uh, your answers and I hope that viewers, uh, you have uh, plenty of uh, things to think about uh, to choose Westlake as your destination for your child's education. Thank you, Mr. Klaas and Michelle. Technology learning is where we will use different forms of technology and electronic devices to enhance the learning experience of the students. From something as simple as just internet searches and online learning or up to things like virtual and augmented reality. So one of the things we have is a t-shirt where the student can put it on and once they download an app, they can scan the t-shirt and it will reveal the inside of their body. That's how we learn in science the different body systems. A lot of classes now use Google Classroom where all of the materials and resources for the lessons are found there. The advantages are that even if students are absent from school, they can still get access to all the information, all of the resources, all of the worksheets, and they're still up to date in terms of deadlines and um, important information and bulletins. It also allows them to work collaboratively on the same document or spreadsheet. When we learn about programming, coding or robotics, we usually do it during Scope IT, ICT or the Robotics Club. I like Tinkercad. It's very fun and you can build anything on it. You can build cups, boats and you can change it into Minecraft or Lego form. Miss Rayma, our science teacher, gets us into groups and then we do super cool experiments. I participated in lots of STEM learning journeys. One of them was the Orangutan Island where we went to Binang and there were lots of endangered orangutans. We did activities to learn about these orangutans, for example, how the baby was born and because they require extensive care, we have to make sure that we do some certain procedures not to hurt them. The experience of working in this Cambridge Science Competition as a team was tough and in fact challenging, but it gave me a platform to apply my soft skills such as team coordination, leadership, and also my ability to work with different types of people. We joined the Cambridge Science Competition and actually we worked on an Air Inc project which allowed us to think of innovative ideas and we actually managed to turn suit from exhaust cars into useful ink for micro pens. It actually benefited me in a way that it helped me narrow down my choices for what I want to do in university. And it awakened an interest in materials and chemistry as well. Dear viewers, good day to you. My name is Ravi, your training and education consultant. I help organizations to form successful collaboration between industry and academia world. Today, I have the privilege to interview Ms. Beverly Nathan, A-Levels Program Coordinator at Westlake International School in Kampar, Pera. Welcome, Beverly. Good morning. Now, Beverly, I have a few questions for you. My first question, what are the academic and non-academic programs at Westlake International School which help the holistic development of your students? Academic programs such as small class sizes, one-on-one -on -one coaching, scheduled weekly formative assessments are done to monitor each student's development closely. This program is developed to cater to each student's path for them to get into the university of their choice. When a student joins A-Levels at Westlake International School, he or she will be required to sit for a CAT4 assessment, which helps us predict grades and study patterns of this student. This helps set target by selecting some top universities and courses and sets the tone for the whole journey of the student, where it is carefully monitored and progress checked leading to the 60% A-star ACE. We have, for example, an alumni who is currently completing her bachelor's in physiotherapy 
at the University of Birmingham. The A-Levels program helped her to build her portfolio and develop specific skill sets to gain entry into university while projecting high grades in the exams. We take students through the Duke of Edinburgh program, which helps build more skills and garner confidence in each student. Oh, wonderful. So it looks like you all have many interventions for the A-level students. Now, just leading to that particular question, does Westlake International School A-levels have a university placement center to advise and assist students throughout their studies? Yes. Non-academic programs such as Morris B, Career Navigation, UCAS Centre, Job Shadowing and the Science Learning Journeys are conducted to look at students' development and university choice that build towards portfolio. This portfolio is designed to capture each student's skill sets and achievements to gain admission to prestigious universities in competitive courses. We conduct weekly career coaching sessions where students are exposed to various different university placements, requirements and are taught basic career skills and personal statement writing skills. As a centre, we conduct mock university interviews to better prepare students for the interview sessions for university placement. We work in-house with a team of teachers who collate relevant mock questions and work with the student in order to build confidence and bring out the personality of the student prior to the interview sessions. Brilliant. It looks like I think uh, Westlake really prepare the students uh, uh, having that particular centre. Now, my next question is, how does Westlake International School program intend to prepare pre-university students to face the rapid growth of technology? Okay. Strong emphasis on STEM programs and university partnership with Utah and UTP to give our students the exposure and confidence to embark on a career that is directly related to IR 4.0. Students at WIS are sent for job shadowing at many industry leaders where they are exposed to the specific development of their field of choice. Thank you, Beverly, uh, for answering all the questions and I believe that I, our viewers will benefit from your answers. Thank you. See you again. The things I like about the boarding house is the kind and most caring boarding house parents we have. Whenever we need someone to talk to or when we're going through a difficult time, they're always there to support us and talk through our difficulties and always help us solve our problems. As boarding house parents, we want to make sure that they get the, the proper advice. As long as they're here with us, we want to make sure that we steer them into the right direction. The areas which have improved in joining the boarding house is aspects of discipline. Coming to the boarding house has helped me be more tolerant of other people and cleaning up after myself. My boarding house parents are very supportive and has helped me settle down. Since I joined this school, I've learned to communicate better with my friends. What I love about boarding is meeting new friends and playing sports together. I also learned how to be independent. So my role as a boarding house parent is first of all to ensure their safety by knowing where they are at all times, making sure that they attend their classes as well as um, any other activities which are scheduled for them. The thing I enjoy most about boarding here is that we have a very strong sense of community. All these different year groups staying with each other, you're playing games, you're studying, you're also learning to live with each other. I think my studies improved a lot and also my life skills like cooking or cleaning up my room. One of the community um, skills that we teach in our boarding house is cooking. On the weekends, especially the, the seven-day boarders who do not go back, um, they would like to cook. So we share our knowledge with them and they share the knowledge with us. The boarding house for the A-levels is very different from the other boarding houses and that's because they have a lot of freedom in making their decisions. 
Uh, the A-level students are independent. They are all um, scholars having gone through the IGCSE. And so one of their main goals is to be able to develop in terms of their ability to make wise decisions with their time. And so these students have to learn to manage and find balance in their life. That would include being able to deal with the stresses, the academic stresses that come from their classes, at the same time being able to find enough time to rest and make sure that they have good habits for their food intake and as well as getting enough sleep and also finding a balance in terms of play in their social life. And we also do sports together in the evenings. Sometimes we have night sports, uh, which either swimming or badminton or even uh, basketball. So these are the things that we, we do together, like a family.